Hello, and it's welcome. Hi. Um, yeah, I still need to work on an introduction. It's like, hi, it's me. Welcome to my video show. Um, but not that because that was terrible and cheesy, and um, not natural. Not not good for me. Uh, yeah. So um, doing the Wizarding Geek Gear unboxing. Uh, for those of you who are observant, and for some reason, are one of the hundred and so plus people who tend to watch. Those videos, rather these Geek Gear ones, um, yes, there was a Threads, um, yes, I did record a video, but I haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, short version, didn't get all the items. I have contacted Zavi, uh, they contacted me back, and they're going to send me the, the extra items. Um, and I'll probably do a video on that. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's... What I'll probably do is record the second video, upload that public, and like primarily upload the first video private, but then link it in the thing, so you've got the, the full story. Um, or maybe I'll keep them both, but I don't know. And now I've now I've put a lampshade on it, it's like, yeah, that's that video. So yeah, um, I did get, um, you know, my, my uh, threads, but it wasn't complete so I'm going to post the videos when I have all the items. Meanwhile I am Team Stark and uh, and a wizard apparently. So uh, let's let's do the doing. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, so yeah they start, oh, what's, the, what's the usual thing I'm supposed to, I don't know, am I even supposed to say these sort of things? You know, it starts from £24 depending on which subscription you decide to go for. There is almost always a t-shirt uh, there, actually, there is always a t-shirt. There's always a print of some description. Sometimes the poster, there's a tea at the moment, because that's their theme this year, is is um, special herbal teas. And um, I've just remembered that the hint item for this month was House Pride. Now, for those of you who happen to also watch um, Super Carlin Brothers, um, good, good taste, but you'll also be aware of the, um, their little video they did recently, Hashtag bring back the bronze because as a Ravenclaw, oh, I do have the cushion. But look, this this is this is it. It's a raven, which okay, the name was suggest, but it's not supposed to be an eagle, is it? Look, look, it's ravens at the top, and um, it's blue and silver because in the book it's blue and silver with a raven. In no, sorry, in the films it's blue and silver with a raven. In the books it's blue and bronze. With an eagle, and in fact, Super Calm Brothers have another reason uh, video explaining why it's an eagle. It's to do with where Rowena would have grown up. I can't remember exactly, but it's it's to do with Rowena's history. So, uh, yeah. Also, um, I've had this conversation before. And one of the comments I got, uh, thank you for that, by the way, was, yeah, they like the separate colours because Slytherin is green and silver. So you've got red, yellow, and black. Sorry. Okay, yellow and black, um, red and gold, green and silver, blue and bronze. So no two houses have the same, one same colour. Um, and yeah. So I'm bringing this up now to see, you know, okay, so we're getting some house pride items. That's always good. I always enjoy house items. But um, what colour scheme are we going to have? Because this it was uh, in a previous... Um, box, but not the cushion. The cushion's really ugly. If I remember correctly, I, I, I got the covers, and yeah, he he bought some animal print stuff. Really gross. This one's one of the better ones, I think, because I do actually have a Gryffindor one, because that came in a um, a random box. So it was like a hey, this is like a a missed items box, or so like so I didn't really get a choice in what I had, and yeah, because that's like a cow print thing. And I do like the design, and I will say, as a collection, I like if I had one of everything, I'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll put that up as a collection, but like, you know, put the ra Ravenclaw more prominent, or maybe have a, like an extra Ravenclaw thing. Um, but as as designs, as a collection, I do think they look quite neat. I only have those two cushion covers at the moment. Well, actually, that's a lie. I have other cushion covers, but they're the only house cushion covers, and they're the only ones that are on cushions at the moment. So, that's a lot of preamble. Should we do the box? Let's do the box. And we're open. Ooh, there are shiny things. Okay, um, 
normally the tea is buried and sorry I'm just having a moment uh, normally the tea is buried um, but this time it's on top so we'll, uh, we'll do that straight away and it is on the floor it is Cornish Pixies tea e e 100 degrees uh, apple pieces, rose hip peel, uh, citrus peel, hibiscus, butterfly, um, pea flower, lemongrass, uh, lemon balm, blackberry leaves, there's a lot in here, blackberry leaves flavor, blueberry, cornflowers, melon, melon, mellow blossoms, um, yeah. Brew for five to ten minutes. It doesn't say what kind of benefits it's supposed to have. If it's supposed to have a benefit. So um, let's just see what it looks like. As we always do. Ooh, that's colourful. Yeah, it smells very... Um, I think very much the blueberry. And... Because you think the orange peel or apple would be like the one other thing. Well, that's rose hip, yeah. Um, let's see if I can show you. It's, it's quite colourful. Lots of different kinds of ingredients in that one. Um, so yeah. Um, still haven't tried any of them yet. Uh, Adam has agreed to do the video. We just haven't arranged the time that we want to sit down and uh, drink tea. And also, I don't want to just waste it. So it'll be like, you know, we'll probably have like small cups and like drinking more we've got in the mood to drink it so it might be it might end up being a series of tea tastings but um that will eventually happen so the reason i had a moment so you, you remember like literally a couple of minutes ago when i was going through the house colors and saying hey this is this and this is this yeah i can still wear these and i probably will wear them as hey i'm wearing bumblebee socks um but uh, this isn't the right color um this, this is this is Hufflepuff. Um, it, it's black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. And this even says wizardry socks, so it can't get away from the fact it's um. Okay, if this is the only house item, I will be a little disappointed. Like I said, I will still wear them and to say people are wearing bumblebee socks, it'll be fine. And they, they are quite fun. I don't like socks. I get you know I, I do a lot of novelty socks. Let's see how long they. I think they give you a long pair. Got a new knife. That's that shiny. Slightly less dangerous than the um, this one, and uh, easier to secure. So uh, let's have a quick look at these. Oh, um, okay, I could get away with saying they're um, bumblebee socks, except they actually have loyalty on the top, which is one of the um, tenants of, um, of of Hufflepuff. But they are they're long, they're long socks. They're, you know what? I'll still probably wear them because they look really comfy. Um, but I might have to email them and say, um, love the socks, wrong colour, can I have the right ones please? Uh, and see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, they're still funky, so uh, presumably the actual Ravenclaw ones will say wisdom on it. And if you're a, a Hufflepuff who've got Ravenclaw socks, then um, I won't wear them straight away, so if you want to get in touch we can, we can discuss. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see what else we've got. I'll do the t-shirt next. No, I'll do... No, I'll do the t-shirt next. There's a like a big item that looks like it's not just an exclusive. And uh, ready then. Yes. Yes. It's one of those circle design um, t-shirts as well. Uh, it looks like we are now back into Fantastic Beast territory. Uh, is that supposed to be... Because you've... I can't work out if that is actually supposed to be Newt or if it's supposed to be Gellert. Um... I'm not going to fold it out entirely because it, it's, it's folded quite neatly and um, I've got a big pile of t-shirts in to fold. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you've got um, the skull, you've got, I suppose that's supposed to be the um, Tower of Pisa, you've got the uh, ring, you know, we've got the snake which presumably is Nagini. Um, and what's this inside here? I... I'm trying to get a bit, better copy of it. And you've got this symbol here, which I can't quite work out. 
<laughs> um, or it could be the blood oath. I don't know. It's not the blood oath. I don't know. Any any thoughts on what that symbol could be? But yeah, we're definitely in Fantastic Beast territory. And I've I've seen Crimes of Grindelwald now, and I didn't hate it, but I can see why some other people are not fans of it. Um, so sorry, I'm just trying. To, I've got a UV torch. I've also got nylon on thread. I keep. No, it's not a UV thing. Um, I get some of the criticisms having now seen it. Um, but I'm not, you know, I didn't, I didn't hate it, I was alright. Johnny Depp, although he's been considered somewhat troublesome to some people, um, I'm... I don't want to sort of relate, because this is anecdotal, it's opinion, but I did see a post on um, Cora where someone was basically saying, do you think Johnny Depp, you know, do you believe, um, you know, that he did these things? And... This person basically turned and said, well, his daughter said he's not violent. Um, his ex-wife and the mother of children said he wasn't violent. Winona Ryder, who knew him back in his party boy days, said he wasn't violent. And the only person who has said he's violent has actually been arrested for assault herself. Um, so take from that whatever you will, but Johnny Depp is still a great actor. So that him being in it actually didn't enjoy my enjoyment of this film. It did in the sense that... Um, I still think, you know, being a European character, he should have been played by a European actor, or at least had an accent affected. Um, but yeah, so that's my opinions on that. Again, feel free to discuss, I'm always open for, for that. Um, so we hope we have here the Harry Potter metallic mug. Um, it looks like it's one of those, like, actual things you can buy somewhere. Yeah, it's from Warner Brothers. It's not an exclusive necessarily, but it is. Shiny! It's so shiny! I can never fully remember the lyrics of that song, but it is fun. And that you can see uh, my both my phone and my computer reflecting there. So, try and get it matte. It is Gringotts. Um, like most of the mugs I've gotten from these collections, I probably won't be using it. Because... Uh, oh, you can see my, my DVD collection. That's insane. Um, yeah. This is really shiny! It, yep, I agree. This is a metallic mug. Um, so let's pop that away. Uh, yeah, we has a mug. Um, like I said, I don't tend to use these because I've got a really big mug that I prefer to use for my drinks. Um, so this will stay safe on display somewhere. Anyway, then we next have the wand, um, which is obviously in here. And it says it's uh, Osseus Wand? O-S-S-E-U-S -S -E Length 13 and a half Core White River Monster Spine Oh lovely um, Wood type Ebony and Bone I'm assuming it's not actually well, It might be Ebony but I doubt it's Bone Ooh, that's cool Ooh, I like this Got a nice uh, wibbly wobbly thing going on And then we do have Rah! We have our skull Hang on, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Bring that forward, bring, bring me back. Yay! So I'm going to present the rest of the show like this. Uh, it's going to make picking out other objects hard, but what do you think? You think you should be my new host? My new, new face of the channel? That's going to be terrifying. If that comes off as a thumbnail before I've had a chance to change it, then I apologise. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, there we go. It's kind of all... I like the ones that aren't necessarily overly polished. It looks like it could be hand-hewn. And given the fact that it's um, not one of the um, traditional Ollivander um, cores, it probably means it was made by a different maker, possibly an American, um, given the fact it's like a river thing. I, you know, I'm going in what the law could be. Um, yeah, White River Monster Spine. So... I'm guessing this isn't supposed to be like an Ollivander thing. It is original. I, I like these original ones. What what are you what are your opinions? Because you've seen me, loyal viewers, um, you have seen my unboxing of the ones that are film um ones, which I was happy to keep collecting. I'd be like, oh I'll get get all the film ones, that'd be awesome. And they're like way cheaper than the Noble Collection. Not that the Noble Collection isn't cool, cool because of course it is, but you know. Uh, they are a little bit pricier. 
Um, so what do you think of those compared to actual original ones that are like different, completely different designs? I'm kind of like half and half, I like the original designs. But um, your opinions as always are welcome. Swish and flick. There it is, and we have our poster. We have our worm dudes. Um, okay, so basically, we've got left is worm dudes, poster, scratch card, um, the cheat sheet, and the art print. I'm going to grab out the art print first. Oh, okay. That's actually really cool. Um, so we've got a silhouette of Tom, um, Dan Rad's, you know, Harry's profile, and then inside it you have Lord Voldy sending out his spell. Now I don't know if this is the case, and if it is, I'd be really pleased to see it. I wonder if they're going to do a companion piece where it's Voldy's profile with Harry inside, because that that should be really neat. Like you put them next to each other, so. You know, I think that'd be fun. So, um, but yeah, I'm oh, sorry, it's got shiny again. You can see it's, um, I would say stylistically it's uh, quite simple, and I like that. Sometimes, sometimes you want lots of detail, like my um, my big poster up here. Um, I really like the detailing, but sometimes you just want something that's a bit more simple and straightforward. And I like this, so yeah, um, I like it on its own. But if they were to do a companion poster print, then I think that would make it even more awesome. You'd like put them either side of the wall, and I think you'd have a good display there. So, again, thoughts are welcome. And finally, we'll, we'll do the. Oh, it looks like it's another one on the. Um, because I still got the, that Phoenix poster we got a few weeks, a few months back, and it's on the similar material, like the softer paper. So let's see what this is. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's Hedwig delivering Harry's firebolt. Um, yeah, no, this is a lot. This is not a simple style. I like. It kind of got the drippy painting effect. Um, I like that. Um, I think it's supposed to look. Is that be watercolor? Supposed to be acrylic. Um, Oh, except it's like a gouache thing that could be somewhere in between watercolor and acrylic. Um, yeah, we look at the, the feather design uh, on top of Hedwig's head there. Um, she's very detailed there. And obviously the wrapping on the paper. So what do you think? Watercolor? I think watercolor. Or maybe a gouache because that will last longer. And there's the little thingy there. And it is... Karen? Karen? Ken? I'm going to assume that the person's name is written down properly in here so I don't butcher their signature um, but it is this person and I think we can agree that that is very pretty that is very nice so um, yeah that is all about the um, scratch card so if you'll indulge me for a moment while I do that see if I've won anything um, let me just uh, pop the tube and pop that away. Sorry, I do like to keep my um, prints nice. It's a bit tighter. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Excuse my... Um... Yeah, you can make your own that's what she said jokes if you want. There we go. Uh, yeah, so let us see if I've won anything. Let's use this again. Oh, that is surprisingly effective. You ever see that, like, you, you get a movie and, like, the devil was doing a scratch card or, or, you know, a thing and they use that knife and it looks, like, kind of hardcore. Um, I'm doing it on the table because, you know, I don't want to be a bad influence. Um, oh, also, while I have you, um, my friend, uh, I recently found out that he thought I was blonde. Um, so, um, thoughts on that? Because he his thing was that... Um, the way the light catches or sometimes my hair's up or covered and you know he couldn't tell but my point was I'd sent him a before and after picture of my haircut um so yeah um 
Hashtag not blonde. <laughs> All right, let me just get my thing because I can never read this for some reason. And it says, no win. Better luck next time. Oh, well, there you go. Didn't win. There we go. Follow that. Oh, uh, yeah. So let's have a quick look at this and see what colour the socks should... Oh, actually, won't show the socks, will it? Um, show what colour everything should have been. So, um, overall, while I open this, I will say probably the wand this time is my favourite item. I do like the t-shirt. Um... But it's, uh, you know, again, it's one of the more stylized designs I've been doing a lot recently with the circle thing going on. Uh, but I like it. I'll wear it. I'll, I'll happily wear it. Um, it is August. Sorry, forgot to mention it's the August box. Uh, so, massive thank you for the subscriptions. Um, carefully packed, all that. Exclusive Beast t-shirt. Yep. Uh, license exclusive uh, Harry Potter Voldemort print. Yep, like that. Um, exclusive unique wand, and it says Clagan? Clagian? C-L-A-I-G-E-A-N-N. -N. Licensed Gringot Foil Mug. Exclusive Sign Owl Art Poster. And the name is Kevin Cantwell? Sorry, they, they use curly right gear. Yeah, Kevin Cantwell. They use curly writing and it's sometimes hard to read it. Uh, exclusive house socks. And, and then the tea. So yeah, um, I'm, I will write a polite message to the company saying, um, Hey, uh, I love your, love your boxes, but you sent me the wrong socks. <laughs> uh, and meantime, if anyone... I'll, I'll, I'll refrain from wearing those socks for a while. And if anyone... Like I said, if anyone is... A Hufflepuff that accidentally got Ravenclaw, then you know maybe we can work something out and we can we can swap socks and we, we can both have the correct socks. Um, but yeah, um, I prom and until I, I'll give it a month um, from uploading this video. It's the thirtieth of August now, so end of September. If nobody has contacted me by the end of September saying, "Hey, I'm a Hufflepuff with the wrong colour socks," um, then I'll wear them and by the time I get to end of September it'll be cold and I'll probably need to be some big fluffy socks um so yeah there you go um I'm, okay, I'm happy to do that person of the month is Laura Martin hello Laura you're looking very pretty and the clue for next month is unicorns which are on fleek and I don't know if people say fleek anymore but they are still still on track because i know like fantasy creatures like that especially with young with the younger girls i like my little pony i mean he's only wrapping he's wrapping up his ninth series and i love my little pony but it's like it has become a but you know, like things like that you have your fairy phase and you're like you have your weird cat phase and the unicorn one does seem to be lasting quite a while this time it does seem to be a lot of consistently consistent unicorn stuff um not complaining I like unicorns, they're cool. And it'll be fun to see what we get next week. Uh, month, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go, probably demonstrate by the fact I've been playing with it. Um, we're going to go with this being best item. Um, I do like the mug, but it is a commercial item rather than like a handcrafted or like a more unique item. Um, I love the artwork. Um, bo both artworks, their own unique styles, I think they're great. Um, this one higher points um and yeah i do like the socks but they're the wrong color so um yeah and then the t-shirt so again if you have any thoughts comments ideas um criticisms um anything you want to share with me i'm always welcome to take seeing what people have to say i'm getting rambly again it's, it's that point in the video i'm either gonna have to learn to less waffle or learn to edit and i don't want to learn to edit or at least uh, the whole point with me with these vlogs um like even with the film reviews and such when i do those is i like to give you my thoughts in the moment you know unfiltered genuine me and that's why i don't edit um and i hope that's why you one of the reasons you decide to come along and keep watching these videos so um, thank you for that. Um, I appreciate it. I do have this board thingy. Um, 
that I bought recently, but I realise it doesn't actually fit. Like, when you put it here, you, you can't really read it, but there's no way to sort of hang it here. Like, it's legible at this point, but that means me holding it all the time. Um, but this is me on Twitter, if you wanted to have a follow. Um, beyond that, um, I will say thanks for watching, especially those of you that are at this point. You are the true, true MVPs. Even if you've just muted it and stuck it on in the background, I still appreciate it. You're awesome. Um, yeah, feel free to check out any of my other videos. I've um, got some reviews up for um, Far From Home and Toy Story 4. Um, you know, that'll help. And I don't normally do this, but if you want to, if you haven't already, feel free to hit subscribe, share it out, say, look at this mad British woman, she's rambling on about shist. Um, yeah. And the bell item uh, icon apparently helps sometimes as well. And I don't do that very often, so I hope you'll indulge me the, the few occasions where I do say, Hit subscribe! It's down there! Alright, I promise I won't do that again. Alright, I've been Michelle, this has been Rambly. I'll catch you later. Bye!